Good morning, this is 6-4 on direct variation. I'm gonna write a couple of other phrases. Varies directly or directly varies. You're gonna run into these phrases, it's all the same thing. A direct variation. is a special type of linear relationship that can be written in the form of y equals kx, where k is the constant of variation, or slope. Direct variation relationships are proportional. So we know that the y-intercept is zero. So what I'm going to do is to become a direct variation, I basically have a checkoff list and all three of them have to be um, correct. So if I have a direct variation, y over x has to equal y over x, must be a line, and y-intercept equals zero. I go through a checklist. That's all I do to de decide whether it is um, a direct variation. So y over x equals y over x. So if it says determine if the relationship is a direct variation, and I'm going to go through my checklist and I'm going to go y over x. So 30 over 5, well that's 6, and 18 over 3, well that's 6, and 6 over 1, and that's 6. And so the y over x is the same. Well then y equals 6x is the equation, because every time I have an input and I multiply it by 6, I get that. So yes. And you have a plus 0 right here, so yes. So the other thing is, is a direct variation, if you have y equals 3x plus 5, because you have this, you know that the y-intercept isn't 0, so that's not. But if you have y equals 7x, that is a direct variation. Okay? So if I do this, I do y over x. This is the easiest one to check. And I go 0 over negative 3. Well, that's 0. And I do 3 over 1. That's 3. These are not matching, so that automatically is a no. The number of hamburgers that can be made varies directly. There's that phrase, varies directly. Varies directly. With the weight of the ground beef that's used, five hamburgers can pre be produced. Five hamburgers for every two. Five hams for every two pounds of beef. So right there, that's five hams per two pounds. Write a direct variation equation for the number of hamburgers, y, that can be made from x pounds of ground beef. So it tells you that your y is your number of hamburgers. And so your number of hamburgers, hamburgers, over your ground beef, pounds of ground beef. We've already got it because it's 5 over 2, so your slope is 5 over 2. Your y-intercept, because of the word varies directly, is 0. And that is 0 comma 0. And all x-intercepts are a number comma 0. And the only time that, well, in this case, if that's 0, that's 0. So your x-intercept is also 0, 0. 
and your equation, because it varies directly, is y equals kx. I don't know why they use k, but that's the slope, or the y over x, which is y over 5, 5 over 2x. And so this is your final answer for that problem. Three toed sloth is an extremely slow an uh, animal. On the ground, it travels at a speed of six feet per minute. That means I have feet per minute. I have six up here and one here. Um, write a direct variation. My direct variation uh, for the distance. So my slope is six which means my y-intercept, because of direct variation, my y-intercept is always 0, 0 for a direct variation because the y-intercept, um, it goes through the origin. The x-intercept is also 0, 0. And my equation is y equals 6x. This is, and if it wants a graph, we have a couple of things that we have to have on a graph. We have to have a title. We have to have a title, that's going to be our y, and we're going to do minutes, and we have to have a scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, and a scale, and I have this going through the origin, up six, right one, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. And so it is a direct variation. So it varies directly. y over x equals y over x. It is going through the origin, and it must be a line.